39 year old woman visits her doctor and is nervous after testing positive for HIV. Of the 10,000 patients tested, 200 had HIV. The test came back positive for 180, while 20 tested negative. Given this patient's positive test, what is the probability that she has it? A for 0 0.05, B for 0 0.20, or C for 0 0.21? What the fuck type question is that? One that's needed to pass the USMLE! Oh, come on, baby! You know this! B. <gasps> I knew you knew it! Today is student, tomorrow a doctor. I get down on you hard sometimes, Fiona. And I know it's fucked up. But you could never understand the pressure on the man coming from the projects, who's trying to better himself. Niggas from my blocks, either about the dope or the ball. I want more. Baby, you don't have Listen, to. Listen, I want you to know that I appreciate you. And although I don't tell you enough, or sometimes at all, I know without you, none of this would be possible. Giving you roses? Oh. I ain't shit. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's not. Part of the reason I treated you so badly is because you allowed it. Now, it don't make it right. But if we don't make it, you need to demand that the next man bring you roses every day, Fiona. You deserve that shit. But there's no other man for me, Kansas. You know that. I'm not going to lie. I'm not the kind of man to do things like this. My father never gave my mother shit but trouble. It seems kind of corny, so you can't expect this of me on a regular. But I'm giving them to you today because you deserve them. And I want you to remember this moment when things get bad. And they will get bad. This means more to me than you ever imagined. Now go put on something nice. Scully gave me a few bucks, so I'm gonna take you out. To eat? This some real sad shit on my part. For real. Got my bitch geeking over a meal? Yes, to eat. Now take that uniform off and go put on one of your nicer fits. Why is she out of the crazy house? Nigga, you act like I know. Fuck I look like to you, a psychic? Bitch, this ain't no fucking game. Y'all niggas said they threw her away. And the key that went with her. I don't have time for this shit. Did anybody bother to talk to her? Not now, Makeisha. Well, is Fiona saying anything about what we did? No. But I get the impression that she will any minute now. I put this behind me, and we promised not to reach out to each other unless something was really up. You're comical. What that supposed to mean? You're not a millionaire no more, Dirk. Remember? You spent every dollar on that chocolate bibs investment just for the trucks to break down in the middle of the summer. First off, they were chocolate baby booties, not bibs. And I ain't lose it all. Just most of it. This is stupid. Does seem a little premature wish. Maybe we should talk to Fiona to see how she's on before we assume she's talking about that night. I said we're not doing that. They call her for what? We not friends no more. I don't even fuck with y'all niggas. And I know the feeling's mutual. We did what we did, Scully.
And I know it's fucked up. But we gotta get this bitch now. A dead bitch speaks no tale. I beg. I pleaded and begged with every last one of you to call the police that night. And you didn't listen. So you want credit now? No. What I want is a good reason as to why I'm being bothered with this shit now. Someone as vicious and violent as Fiona don't get a change of heart when the next person gets her wrong and she don't get her way. A person like that kills again and again and again. Why? Because we let her get away with it. I dug into the ground the night that bitch murdered my man. Threw his body in the damp soil. Even buried a part of me with him. I lost my wife, my job, and my peace of mind. This is karma coming back for y'all niggas. So I suggest you leave me out of it. have an idea on how you can get me my money. You can't keep coming into my house, Fiona. I'm tired of this shit. Are you tired, Lisa? Because I'm having the time of my life. I want you out. I'm going to call the police. Go ahead. Call them. I'm serious, Fiona. If you don't leave, I'm calling. In the future, if you make a promise, don't follow through saying the same shit. You made a threat, so follow through. Call them. Plus, I'm eager to see if they know the information that I have for them. What's that? You can read, can't you? If so, give it a try. How did you... Must I continuously remind you about my wealth? So you just saw the police? Me? It was you who was preparing to get the police involved. I don't do this anymore. Back in the day, I did what I needed to do to earn money. But I'm through with that lifestyle. Of course you don't do these things anymore. You have a rich nigga who takes care of you. Although that doesn't excuse the fact that you embezzled over $50,000 at the bank you worked at, as well as hijacked customer credit cards by the hundreds. You were smart enough to leave before they found out. But I caught you, didn't I? <sighs> now, Lisa, please bring me my roses. It's so dreary in here without them. Don't you think so? Bitch, excuse me. You have a problem or something? Actually, I do. What's up with selfish bitches like you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, but you will. And real soon, too. 
Bring them to me. You have a nice shape. Do you dance for him? Because he loves it when you dance. Sometimes. Let me see. See what? I'm not gonna play this game forever. I'm not gonna demand something of you only for you to pretend you did not hear me when I ask do. Is that clear? Now dance, bitch, because as of right now, I'm not very entertained. I know what you're thinking, and I'm asking you not to do this. She's testing all of me, Coney. I never had a woman talk so disrespectfully to me. And it has me considering doing time just to taste her blood. And that's what she wants. Yo, we sat on this sofa. The same sofa we sat on many times. Only for her to tell me to get out. So I moved on. Didn't even fight because it wasn't worth it. And now she does this shit? I seen that same look on your face before, Taz. Right before you killed that man that jumped on me. This is the moment that separates men from a common thug. You had a power, and at the end of the day, it boils down to this. Can you control your emotions, or will you allow them to control you? That shit you just said is all well and good, but what I'm not understanding is why you left a bitch. I told you I got a call and had to bounce. So it took two days for you to wrap it up? Bitch, please. You don't have to believe me if you don't want. Good, because I don't. I never know you to act scaredy like. Let me find out you getting. I ain't acting scared. She knows about the scams. Taz doesn't even know about that shit. One call from her and I'm locked up for life. Did she tell you anything about her past? talking about Fiona. Say the ass Taz, whatever that means. I know you know something, Wish. What I'm not understanding is why you're not telling me. 